Well, if you've been doing business math for the first six or seven paces, you've probably noticed that business math is not too hard. Yay! In fact, it starts off really easy, and then they make up for it here at the end of the course. So I think starting here with pace eight and moving into nine, 10, 11, 12, we should probably do some teaching videos to help along the way. <clears throat> Send me an email if, um, if I skip over a concept that you feel like there should be a lesson for. But based on some feedback that I've gotten, I think um, we need to talk about page 27 and 28. All right, in page eight here. Page 27 talks about the FICA, Federal Insurance Contributions Act. And so that is what funds the Social Security and the Medicare. It's not technically insurance, but um, it's a tax that gets paid half of it, gets paid by the employee. In other words, it gets taken out of their paycheck and half of it the employer has to kick in to match the amount that the employee has taken out. Now we'll find out when we get over to page 28 at the bottom that somebody who's self-employed, they don't have an employer, they work for themselves, they actually have to take out the full amount of 12.4%, which is a big chunk if you're self-employed. And, uh, but that they keep track of and determine how much you will earn in retirement then. All right, we'll get to that later. The two percentages are 6.2% for Social Security that gets taken out of the uh, employee's paycheck, and then 6.2% that the employer has to pay, okay? For Medicare, it's 1.45%. Um, so we're going to calculate, I took two numbers from page um, 28 here, and let's just walk through the math together and see how this is done, okay? Let me grab my marker and my calculator here. So remember we turn a percent <clears throat> into a decimal by moving the decimal twice. So we get 0 0.062. we we'll multiply that times 57,610. Whoops. Um, 10, here we go. And we have to round that to, well, we don't have to round it. All right, 3,571. And 82 cents, okay? Now let's take the 0 0.0145 times 57, 610. And you should be doing this with me here. So we get 835.35. We have to round it off. Now, let's look at the instructions for this column here to the right. It says total FICA amount. Using the employer's quarterly payroll to find his contribution to Social Security Medicare, the total amount the employer sends to the IRS. Now you would think, you would think, that would mean you just add these two up and you get the total. Okay, that is what you would think. But there's one little line over here on page 27 that says that since Mr. Beal is required to send his employees' contributions along with his own, we have to take the total of adding these two together and double it. So what happens is the employer has to withhold from his employees this amount put it in a savings account, so to speak, every two weeks or every month, however often he pays his payroll. Um, actually, actually, this is quarterly, but every time he does a payroll, he has to put that money aside. He gets to the end of the quarter, and this is how much should be in there from his employees, and then he has to match it with the same amount. 
So we're going to have to, and I'm going to let you finish the math here. I'm not going to do it for you, okay? But you're going to take this plus this, double it, so times two, and that will give you the total, okay? <clears throat> Let's walk through one more example together. And we're going to take this big payroll of 620. Thousand nine hundred times point zero six two thirty eight thousand four hundred ninety five <clears throat> point eighty. See if you get that, okay? Do the same math. See if you get that number with your calculator. Don't just take my number. And then we're going to take this decimal, 0 0.0145, times our payroll for the quarter, this big number here, 9,003 and 5 cents. <laughs> All right. So let's think through again what we have to do for the last step. We don't just add these because we realize the employee uh, employees are having to pay this amount and have that withheld from their paycheck and then the employer has to match it with the same amount. So we will add these together and multiply it times two and that's how we get the total that he has to send in to the government every quarter. And that actually is what employers have to do, is send in a quarterly payment and not wait till the end of the year. <clears throat> There'll be a lot of money to come up with at the end of the year. And so the government wants it every quarter. All right, hopefully that helps you. And uh, you can finish this page.